Happy Tuesday everyone, April the 16th, meteorologist Hunter here at Weather on the Go and in today's weather forecast we are continuing to monitor significant severe weather potential across the Midwest with all modes of severe weather including strong tornadoes today and looking at additional rounds of thunderstorms, some of which could be severe through the rest of this week and a strong cold front will sweep through the country bringing widespread frost and freeze chances across especially the northern U.S. will be detailing that out in today's weather forecast. Hey, if you are new here to Weather on the Go and you like detailed but accurate weather forecasts across southern Canada, the United States, and the tropics for tropical weather season, make sure to subscribe to the channel down below. We do live streams on severe weather, also hurricane season live streams, and winter weather live streams on this channel. Another reason to subscribe. Also, be sure to press the like button down below. It helps out more than you know. So let's look back to yesterday. Very busy day across the plains overnight for severe weather. We had three reported tornadoes here, mainly across Kansas and a lot of hail and wind reports. Also across the mid-Atlantic, we saw a lot of hail and wind reports as of yesterday on Monday, April the 15th. Now looking ahead to this afternoon and this evening, the latest update from our friends over at the Storm Prediction Center has a level three out of five, an enhanced risk of severe weather placed across central and eastern Iowa into western and northwest Illinois and into northeastern Missouri. This covers the Des Moines, Iowa City, Cedar Rapids area, the Davenport Quad Cities, all the way down here toward Kirksville, Missouri here this afternoon. A larger slight risk stretching from La Crosse, Wisconsin, back into Omaha, all the way down through Kansas City today, almost to the Memphis region, and then into the Paducah region, St. Louis, and Springfield, Illinois, as we go through the day. The biggest risk of severe weather is going to be very large hail, especially where you see these dash-shaded lines across portions of Iowa, into Missouri, and far western Illinois. That's where we could see up to baseball size hailstones this afternoon and evening, and a formidable tornado risk. A strong tornado cannot be ruled out here across central and eastern Iowa, including the Des Moines region, over to Iowa City, Cedar Rapids, Davenport Quad Cities, and then down here towards northeastern Missouri into the Kirksville region, keeping an eye on a strong tornado risk there. But in the green and brown shaded color, that is a two to a five percent chance of tornadoes all the way up into La Crosse and Madison, Wisconsin, through Milwaukee, Chicago, all the way down here toward Indianapolis, St. Louis, Paducah, getting down into Little Rock here in Memphis. So a large area of tornado potential through today. So let's look here at the setup for that. We have a very strong, robust, low-level jet here across portions of the Midwest here. Over 60, almost 70 knots across this region, especially in Wisconsin and Illinois. And you can see this is actually feeding into the significant tornado parameter values across this region, especially for the upper, but also the middle Mississippi Valley region there, peaking across eastern Iowa, western Illinois, and northeastern Missouri, very close to that area with that significant tornado risk. And you can see here, as we go through the afternoon, an arcing band of broken line of some supercell thunderstorms will be advancing towards the Mississippi River from Iowa into Illinois. And these storms will carry all hazards with them. Strong tornadoes, very large hail, and some damaging wind gusts in excess of 60 miles per hour. Note also additional development back here into southern Iowa, northern Missouri. These storms could pose a risk for all hazards, including strong tornadoes this afternoon as well. Those lines of storms will progress eastward through the Chicago, M Milwaukee metropolitan areas this evening. Again, bringing all hazards with them, tornadoes, large hail, and damaging winds. Rockford, Illinois, down toward the Princeton and Peoria region in Illinois, we'll start to see that second round of storms move through this evening. Those will sweep through, and as we go into overnight tonight, as the storms make their way into Michigan and Indiana, they will be on a weakening trend, mainly looking at heavy rain and frequent lightning, but I still wouldn't rule out maybe an isolated severe thunderstorm with damaging wind and hail, but the tornado risk by this point will be much lower. Further to the south in the risk area into Arkansas and Missouri here around the St. Louis region down toward Little Rock and Memphis. Isolated threat for some supercell thunderstorms this afternoon. Again, all hazards in play, damaging winds, large hail, and tornadoes. This will become a little bit more numerous around the evening hours from Paducah, Kentucky back through Cape Girardeau here 
through the foothills of southeastern Missouri, back through Jonesboro, Arkansas, into Little Rock, and maybe the Texarkana region, seeing a storm or two this evening. Those will become a little bit more numerous as that low-level jet starts to crank up overnight tonight. This will mainly be, again, heavy rainfall, smaller hail, gusty winds, no overly significant severe weather for the Ohio or Tennessee River Valley overnight tonight, but we will keep a close eye on that. Going into Wednesday, this is for tomorrow, the day two outlook from the Storm Prediction Center has a slight risk of severe weather in the yellow from Detroit, Michigan, all the way down through Toledo and Cleveland, stretching into Columbus, Chillicothe, back there into Cincinnati, Ohio, Louisville, and then down through the Indianapolis region. That stretches back into Evansville, Indiana there on Wednesday. Marginal risk down here into the Music City of Nashville, down there into Huntsville, and back into Memphis. We'll keep an eye on that threat for Wednesday. There is a formidable tornado risk on Wednesday as well with that 5% shading across portions of Detroit, Toledo, and Cleveland. So we'll keep a close eye on the tornado threat for your Wednesday time frame. And looking at the setup on Wednesday, we have the cold front advancing east across the Ohio and River Valley in the Great Lakes. Ahead of that cold front, dew points pooling into the upper, 60, upper 50s, low 60s on Wednesday. And that will increase the instability, moderate instability values over 1,000 joules per kilogram here into southern lower Michigan into western Ohio, eastern Indiana, and down into Kentucky there for Wednesday afternoon and evening. And a decent low-level jet, not as strong as today, but still around 50 to 55 knots there across the Ohio Valley, enhancing some of that wind shear in the low levels to create the potential for some isolated tornadoes. So Wednesday morning, seeing a few isolated showers and storms north of the warm front. Those will be elevated showers and storms, mainly producing the risk for hail. As we go into the afternoon, cold front starting to impinge on that warm, moist, and unstable environment out ahead of it with those dew points rising into the 50s and low 60s up there, even into the Detroit region, a broken line of supercells moving through with all hazards, severe weather, damaging winds, large hail, and tornadoes. As we go into Wednesday evening, that line will progress through Cleveland and Akron, all the way over here through Pittsburgh and into Charleston, West Virginia, just to the north and east of you. We could see the tail end of that line move through. That will be moving towards State College there into central Pennsylvania and be on a weakening trend as it moves into central Pennsylvania, Wednesday evening. And then as we go into Thursday, another slight risk of severe weather from the Ohio River Valley back down here towards the Southern Plains. So a yet another day of active severe weather on Thursday. And going through Friday, that cold front here is going to be moving southbound, kind of stalling out or slowing down across the south here. Colder Canadian high pressure works in across the north here. This is going to bring down a much cooler air mass for this upcoming weekend. But look at the cold front slowing down, a lot of moisture pooling out ahead of it down across the southern plains and the southeast, bringing days and rounds of showers and storms, some of which could be severe into this weekend but also some beneficial rains for a lot of us this week as well. So between today and this upcoming Sunday on April 21st, we could be seeing a stripe here of a couple areas of some very heavy rain from South Dakota, Nebraska, eastward through Iowa, especially there into southern Minnesota, Wisconsin, and northern Illinois. That could stretch over into lower Michigan. We could see a widespread stripe there of about two to four inches or more in some spots of rain. A secondary area down here across portions of southeastern Oklahoma, North and Northeast Texas, getting into Arkansas, Northern Louisiana, and perhaps Mississippi of another two to four inch swath or more of rainfall going through this upcoming weekend. So some very heavy rainfall swaths with this storm, but also the cold front is going to bring down an anomalously cold air mass for the middle to end of April. Look at the well below normal temperature anomalies from Canada up here in Saskatchewan, Manitoba, and Ontario starting to drift southward into at first the high plains and upper Midwest, but by the weekend all the way down here into the southern plains near the Gulf Coast into the southeast and the eastern seaboard here all the way up to the mid-Atlantic and the northeast. A lot of the eastern two-thirds of the country will be feeling the effects of this strong cold front this weekend. And let's look at those morning lows. Look at Friday morning, folks, freezing temperatures, frost conditions across the upper Midwest, the high plains back into the Northern Rockies, well below freezing into Southern Canada there Friday morning. 
That continues to advect colder air southward into the U.S. as we go into Saturday morning and on Sunday morning. So three mornings here, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, where the upper Midwest, the Great Lakes, back into the High Plains and Northern Rockies, and in Southern Canada as well, will be seeing those either frost or freeze conditions in a widespread area. So definitely keeping an eye on those sensitive plants out there, the sensitive vegetation, as the growing season is underway across portions of the Midwest, the Ohio Valley over here to the Mid-Atlantic, some hazardous temperatures. The Climate Prediction Center does have a moderate risk of hazardous temperatures centered across that region going into this upcoming weekend. And here is the probability in which you could see that widespread frost and freeze. If you're in the lightest blue color here, it's possible as far south as the Red River Valley, down here into Dixie Alley here, especially northern Dixie Alley and over toward the Carolinas. Medium blue across portions of the Central Plains, the Midwest, the Ohio Valley, the Mid-Atlantic, and the New England coast will see more of a likely chance of frost and freeze conditions. And if you're in the darker blue here, up into the High Plains, the upper Midwest, the Central Great Lakes, and interior New England, that's where we have very likely chances for widespread frost and freeze conditions. So so make sure again this upcoming weekend, Friday the 19th, through Sunday the 21st that you cover up those sensitive plants, the sensitive vegetation out there as some widespread frost and freeze concerns will be coming into play. Now, if you are tired of the cold weather, well, you don't have to wait long because the last full week in April, another solid rebound in our temperatures are depicted on the long range guidance and the Climate Prediction Center agrees with well above normal temperatures back across the Plain States as we go into Tuesday the 23rd through the following Monday the 29th of April, but all also coinciding with a very active weather pattern here. So that means more heavy rain and potential severe weather events to round out the month of April. We will keep you covered on that. And this is going to bring again, more heavy rain, more severe weather. And this is uh, again for the Eastern Plains, but into the Midwest, the Ohio Valley, seeing the recipients of this heavy rainfall for the last week there of April. And again, we will keep you covered on that. Please make sure to have multiple ways to receive watches and warnings. A NOAA weather radio will be key today. Your smartphone, your tablet, your laptop, anything to wake you up or to alert you for severe weather across the Midwest. A dangerous day today is possible with strong tornadoes possible from Iowa, Missouri, and into Illinois. Again, make sure to stay safe, everybody. Make sure to give this video a like, subscribe to the channel. We'll keep you covered. And I hope everyone has a wonderful rest of their Tuesday. Tuesday out there.